Tabs allow you to line text at a specific location in a document. In this lesson, we'll set custom tab stops on the ruler. We'll add tab stops within the text to align with the new tab stops, and we'll add dotted line tab leaders. The list in this flyer right here is a little bit difficult to read, but when we're finished, after we've set our custom tab stops here on the ruler, it'll be much easier to read. A tab stop is a point on the horizontal ruler that indicates the location at which to align text. By default, tab stops are located every one half inch along the ruler. But we are actually going to set some custom tab stops, one at one inch, one at 3.5 inches, and then one here at the 5.5 mark. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down a bit until these five lines are right directly located under the ruler. First thing we need to do is we need to select it. So I select all five of these lines. Then I'm going to go to the left end of the horizontal ruler, way over here to the left end. And what you'll see when I put my mouse pointer over that, it says right tab. As I click on this location, it will actually go through and show me the different type of tabs that are actually available. So I can get a center tab, a right tab, a decimal tab, a bar tab, first line indent, and hanging indent. What I actually want it to be right now is the left tab. So I'm going to make sure it's left tab. And now I'm going to come over to the ruler bar. I'm going to click on the one inch mark to create my tab stop, the three and a half inch mark to create a tab stop. Now I want to go back over to this tab indicator. I'm going to click until it says right tab. Now I'm going to go over to the five inch mark on my ruler and click to insert a right tab. Now the formatting of my text hasn't changed at all because all we've done right now is just set the tabs on the ruler. So what we need to do, we need to actually insert them. Right here on this first line before the word trip, I'm going to click before the word trip. What I want to point out to you, what you'll notice is on the ruler bar, I now have marks that indicate that there are tabs. I'm going to press the tab key. Notice it moves the whole area over. I'm going to put my insertion point before the word dates. I'm going to press the tab key, goes over to the second tab stop we created. I'm going to do the same thing with cost and press the tab moves my the word cost. What you'll notice after inserting these tab the word trip is left aligned at the one inch text mark. The word dates is left aligned at the three and a half inch text mark and the word cost is right aligned at the five inch text tab stop mark. So now what we want to do is I'll insert a tab at the beginning of each remaining line in the list so they're all lined at the one inch mark. So I can click here, tab, click, tab, click, tab, click, tab. Now I'm also going to do the same thing before each date in the list. So that it moves over. I'll also insert a tab before each dollar sign so that the prices are right aligned at the five inch mark. What you'll notice is that the Everett Basecamp track didn't align correctly. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn on the paragraph marks so I can actually see some of the marks that are there. You'll notice there's an extra tab here at the end. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back over to the beginning of the dollar sign and see if there's anything else wrong. But what you'll notice here on the actual ruler bar, there's more than one tab 
located up here. So what I'm going to do is I want to actually remove the left tab. And what you'll notice as I put my mouse pointer up there, I have a left tab and a right tab. And I can't really get the right tab screen tip to show up as well. But I want to actually remove the left tab. So I'm going to just click and drag off of the ruler bar. And you notice that it readjusts my cost so that it is right aligned. I'm going to turn the paragraph marks off. So now what I want to do, once I've set them, I can move them if I'd like, but I first need to select all the paragraphs that I, I want to modi modify because what I want it to actually do is to modify each line, not just one line. So what I want to do is select all of the lines as I did before, and I want more space between the dates and the costs. So I'll go up to the ruler and I'll drag the right tab stop to the five and a half inch mark. Click drag. Notice it spaces it out for me where it immediately makes the change. Now what we're going to do is use the tabs dialog box to set tab leaders. Tab leaders are lines that appear in front of the tab text and they're used to help guide the reader's eyes. So I'll select just the last four lines of my tab text starting here. Then in the paragraph group I'm going to launch the paragraph dialog box. Down on the bottom left, I'm going to click on tabs. The tabs dialog box is displayed. And it allows us to set and adjust positions of tab stops. You'll notice that the tab stops we actually created, the three existing ones, are here. I can also change the type of alignment of the tab stops as well. And what I want to do under the leader section, you notice that this allows you to add a dotted tab leader, a dash leader, or an underscore leader. We want to add a dotted tab leader to the tab stops at the three and a half inch mark and the five and a half inch mark. So here in the tab stop position list box, I'll click 3.5. Then down in the leader section, I'll click the dotted leader. Then I'll click set. I'll repeat the process for the five and a half inch tab stop. Select it, the leader, and then set. Now I'll click OK. I'll deselect the text and you can see the dotted, the dotted line tab leaders that have been added. Finally, I'm going to save my changes. To try these steps yourself and for some additional tips, see a table on the different types of tabs you can set in a document. Turn to page Word 58 in your book.